Hello guys, and welcome to That History Dude. Today I'm going to talk about the Jarls of Orkney, uh, and how they have had an impact on Scottish history, and how they have become entwined in uh, the politics and the clan system, and marrying into the families of some of the most, you know, important Scottish families. Uh, but before we get into actual Scotland, we start in Norway uh, with Ivar Haftensen. Um, now, before Norway was Norway, it was broken up into a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, petty kingdoms, so to speak. Kind of how Ireland was broken up into petty kingdoms. Um, you can refer to them as uh, dukedoms, if you like. Uh, th but they were not a unified entity, politically. Uh, they were unified by culture, uh, by language, but not they did, they did not have one unified king. Um, now, at this point, Ivar Haftensen was petty king of Upland. He was born in 780, died in 824. It wouldn't be until later on, under Harold Fairhair Haftensen, when he became king of Norway, uh, that he would unite all of Norway under his rule. So... Ivar had a son, Einstein Glumra, the noisy Iverson, born in 810, died in 870. Now, Einstein had three children. Einstein was very close and was a supporter of Harald Fairhair and his rule uh, in Norway. He married off his daughter, Svanhild Einstein. Den Einstein daughter to Harold and that was not the only marriage that Harold made. Harold had a total of 23 children with eight different women. And that was over the span of his lifetime, but most of his marriages were political marriages to secure uh, alliances, titles, lands, etc. Now, I only have the children here of Svanhild because we are only focusing on the Yars of Orkney and the main family. I, I'm focusing more on the patrilineal line. I will probably later make a video and a genealogy chart of the kings of Norway and Sweden and Denmark and how they fit into everything else. But, I mean, 23 children with eight different women, that's going to be a very large genealogy chart. Uh, that will be a larger project down the road. So, as I said, I only put the three children that were born of this pair, of Harold Fairhair and Svanhild. And his um, descendants also run back into the family. So uh, I'll talk my way down the line a little bit uh, about that in a little bit. So back to Einstein. Einstein, uh, like I said, has von Hild. Then Rolvold. The wise Eisenstein and had Sigurd the mighty Eisenstein. Uh, sorry, Eisenstein's son. I'm forgetting that last part. Um, with the Norse, the men, the children of the, the boys, um, their last names are son of Eisen, you know, so the Last name is the first name of the father. And for women, it's 
Eisten Dalter. Um, surnames were not common back then. And your surname was usually uh, the land you came from. Or you had a nickname such as the Noisy or the Wise to differentiate different Einsteins. Because I'm sure that this wasn't the only Einstein. Um, or the only Ivar. There's plenty of different Ivars from different lands, from different countries. So that's just a little tidbit of information uh, in regards to the Norse. Um, but every culture is a little bit different. So, like I said, the three sons, I'm sorry, three children of Einstein, two sons and one daughter. Now, Rongnov, the wise, Einstein was Yar of Moore, which is another um, county, so to speak, in Norway. And he married Ragnild Rolstalter, which is the daughter of the Yar of Trondheim, and also had a concubine. Uh, he had a total of six children from these two women. So three from this wife and three from the concubine. Sigurd the Mighty had one son, Guthrum. Now, Rongnolf was given uh, the land of Mor. Uh, Sigurd was given Orkney. Now, they were given these lands, well, I should say Orkney was given to the family because of the support that Einstein and his son Rognolf had to herald. Now, when the Norse conquered Scotland and the North Scotland and the Isles, um, that land was then given as a reward, so to speak. Seeger the Mighty, he became the first Jarl of Orkney under the Kingdom of Norway. He was born in 832, died in 874. His son, Guthrum Sigurdsson, was second Jarl of Orkney. Guthrum, he quickly... Uh, went to take claim after his father's death but he could not keep the Gaelic population under control and he came back to Norway uh, in disgrace and because of that um, the Yara of Orkney was then given to Tolf Einar. I'm sorry, my uh, my mistake. Halad. I completely missed his older brother. Halad. Now, it was given to the line of the concubine because the main uh, branch, so to speak, uh, of a daughter, you know, from a noble family that comes from land, was to receive the main inheritance in Norway to become Yar of Mor. Now, Rongno's oldest son, Ivar, died. He died in campaign in support of Harold Fairhair. Uh, in battle. So because of his early death, Harold gifted the Nudreyer to the family, to this family. Um, now the Nudreyer is the entire dukedom of Orkney. So it, it, it includes all the islands of Orkney and the Shetland Islands. Rolo, as most of you would know, 
uh, was an adventurer. He didn't want to settle. He didn't want to stay. He wanted to explore. And explore he did. Rolo is the man that is known as the uh, progenitor of the Norman dynasty. And the, he is the first Duke of Normandy. And from him, we will eventually get William the Conqueror and to the English kings. I will be making a video about him and how he is tied to England and to Scotland, uh, etc. So, so far to surmise, we have Sigurd the Mighty died. His son couldn't cut it, so he came back in disgrace. Ivar, the eldest son of Rognolf, died early. Rolo was an adventurer, didn't want the land. He made his own way. Thorir the Silence uh, was Yar Mor, and he didn't want Orkney. He thought it was a backwater, you know, uh, waste of space. And so, Halid received Orkney, and he became the third Yar of Orkney. Now, he died with no heirs, so it was passed on to his brother, Tofanur, Ragnarsson, fourth Jarl of Orkney. Um, now, I do want to mention real quick, Thorir the Silent, his wife was Alavarbot, Harold's daughter, which is the daughter of Harold Fairhair, uh, but from a different mother. From Gita, Eric's daughter. So Harold was also tied to the family, to Thorir, again, another alliance, through this uh, daughter and this marriage. Now, they had a daughter, Bergilot, Ronald's daughter, who married Sigurd Hackinson's second Jarl of Laid. Now, forgive me, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing these um, places correctly. I'm not sure if it's Yar of Moor or Mori or Laid or Lady. Um, I'm not Norwegian. So that wraps up this part of the family. Now, as I said, Halad received the, the Jarldom of Orkney. He died with no heirs. Then it was Tolfreiner, Ragnarsson, fourth Jarl of Orkney. He had four children. Uh, he had Arnkel Tolfreinersen, fifth Jarl of Orkney, Erlen Tolfreinersen, sixth Jarl of Orkney, Thorfinn Tolfreinersen, the seventh Jarl of Orkney, and he is known as, as the Skull Splitter. And then had a daughter, Thoris, Tolfana's daughter, who married uh, some random man, Thorgir the Clumsy. Not much is known about this marriage or the children, uh, or the children of the family. Um, now, most of these uh, jarls. They ruled during the same time. I did not put the rule dates. I put their birth and their death dates all here in this uh, genealogy sketch. If it was known, I did not put the rule dates because it's too convoluted and most of them ruled during the same time. So you cannot have a, an, an, a beginning date and an end date of rule uh, and a timeline of first second third fourth fifth etc um jarls so for example sigurd he ruled yes he was the first jarl and then his son was second jarl but left in disgrace now halid and his brother tolfreiner they ruled concurrently they both ruled as jarls of orkney I only put him as third because he was Jarl first. And when he died, he was Jarl. 
when he died, his three sons ruled concurrently until, you know, they died in their respective dates. So these two brothers ended up dying on the same date. They died in battle. And then the younger brother uh, remained as the Jarl and ruler of Orkney. Which he made a uh, very good decision in marrying Grilad, or Grelad, Duncan's daughter. She is the daughter of Duncan, the Mormur, the Gaelic Mormur of Caithness. Um, now, why is that a big deal? All these uh, people, they are Norse. All these people have Norse culture, Norse language. Um, yes, Arnkill, Erlin, and Thorfinn were born in Orkney. These were born in Norway, mind you. This is the first alliance between the invaders and the native population. So here is where it be starts to turn into Norse scale. Thorfinn's skull splitter, Tolfinosen, seventh Jarl of Orkney, married the daughter of Duncan Mormer of Caithness. And from that marriage, we get Thorfinn's daughter, his first daughter, who did have a child, Einar Hardmouth Hartkept. Her husband is not known, so I just made the direct line to him. Uh, he had a few sons. Havard, Onfin, Scully, and Liolt, and then Liolvjur. They are the ninth, eighth, uh, tenth, and eleventh Yara of Orkney. Um, some things happened here. So, after Throfin, uh, the seventh Jarl, you have Arfin. He is the eighth Jarl. Now, I put him as the eighth Jarl because for some reason he became Jarl first before his... Uh, elder brother he also died first and the interesting thing is that his wife Ragnald the Wicked Eric's daughter is uh, here also Ragnald was the daughter of Eric Bloodaxe the granddaughter of Harold so Ragnald is the granddaughter of of Harold Fairhair through again a different wife. So this marriage uh, was short lived. They had Havard. She then married ha um, Havard Thorfinson, his brother, and Yes, that was his nephew, but also became his stepson. Um, he then quickly died two years later, as you can see. Scully, he was Jarl at the same time. Um, but he died quickly in between them, so he, he never, he was Jarl. The Lisa heals Jarl for almost probably like just two years. It's very, very, um, it's not well recorded as to how long he was Jarl. So I didn't really give him a number. But regardless, they were Jarls all at the same time. 
um, along with their elder brother. I'm sorry, uh, younger brothers, these two. So, you also had Throfin's daughter. This is an unknown daughter. I just put her last name just to fill up the box. But from her, we have Einar uh, Kleining. He's nicknamed Buttered Bread. Uh, and then Liot, Throfin's son, who also married Ragnar the Wicked. So Ragnar the Wicked went through three brothers who ended up dying before dying herself with the final son. And then we have the youngest son, Ljovjur Throlfinsen, the 11th Jar of Orkney. He must have been the smartest one because he didn't marry Ragnar the Wicked. He married the daughter of Turbul, King of Ossuary in Ireland, um, and her name was Ethne Kjorv's daughter. Now, I did translate this into the Norse. Uh, she does have a Gaelic name, um, but I just decided to keep it uniformed in the Gaelic. I'm sorry, in the Norse spelling because. We're talking about a Norse family. Um, but this is the name that she would have gone by in the Norse text and, and you know, way. So, Thor Holvir Thorfinnsson had one le legitimate uh, child with her. And it was daughter, Svenlog Thorfinnsson's daughter who married Gilly, Earl of the Hebrides. And again, this is another uh, native Gaelic, creating an alliance between the invaders. Now, through concubines, he had two other children, Gurlieta, Fjord's daughter, who married Havard, the steward of Caithness. Another alliance with Caithness. And then a son, Sigurd the Stout, Thjorfsson, 12th Jarl of Orkney, who ended up marrying Olith McAlpin. And if McAlpin sounds familiar, yes, McAlpin is part of the Mac McAlpin dynasty of the Scottish royal family. This is another native alliance. So the Norse are mixing with the Gaelics um, in Scotland and making alliances to protect their 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 lands and their 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 wealth, so to speak. Now, from Sigurd, we have a legitimate child, and we have four illegitimate. Ch well, I don't want to say illegitimate. Because concubines were still, the children of concubines were still considered legitimate and they were still considered to inherit. Um, it was just a, the normal practice of the Norse to have concu uh, concubines if their wives could not produce an heir, a child. So Sigurd the Stouts had Hundi Sigurdsson. Uh, not much is known about him. Um, Smarly Sigurdsson, 13th Yarrow of Orkney. Mm -hmm. Brucey Sigurdsson, 14th Yarrow of Orkney. And Brucey had a son who would later become Yarrow as well. Einar Rymal Sigurdsson, the 15th Yarrow of Orkney. And then Thorfinn. The mighty Sigurdsson, 16th Yar of Orkney. Thorfinn married Ingeborg, Finn's daughter. I also added in here, Ingeborg also was the wife of Malcolm III, King of Scots. And they also had children. Their son was Duncan II, King of Scots. 
This is part of the MacGuffin line of dynasty. Thorfinn and Ingeborg bore two sons, Erlen and Paul. Now, this is where the branches of family share custody of Orkney and the ruling of Orkney. One branch will become a ruler of Orkney and then the other. So, Thorfinn, when he died, Rognu Bruce's son became the Jarl of Orkney. When he died, the two brothers joined as rulers of Orkney. Erlen Thorfinnsson, 18th Jarl of Orkney, and Paul Thorfinnsson, 18th Jarl of Orkney. They ruled concurrently and they died together, uh, again in battle. Erlen married Thora, Sumarla's daughter, and Paul Thorfinnsson married Ragnald Hakon's daughter. Now from Paul, we have Hakon Paulson, and from Erlen, we have Cecilia Erlenstalter, Gunhild Erlenstalter, Jadvor Erlenstalter, Erling Erlinson, and St. Magnus the Martyr Erlinson, 21st year of Orkney. This is where I say it goes back and forth. So when they died, the 19th Jarl. Um, well, there was no 19th, uh, because I, I mistakenly made one of these the 19th, um, but because they died the same year, I made them both 18th because they ruled concurrently, died concurrently, so I skipped 19th entirely but to 20th so to speak Hakon Paulson became the 20th Jarl of Orkney died in 1123 when he died Saint Magnus the Martyr Erlinson and this is the man who brought Christendom to the Orkney Islands uh, he spread it, and soon enough, Orkney and Northern Scotland uh, became Catholic, or I should say Christian back then, because this was before the split. Um, he was uh, uh, it, he became a saint. And soon died for his beliefs. Um, from him, when he died, these two became co-rulers. Harold Smoothtongue Hackinson, the 22nd Jarl of Orkney, and Paul Hackinson, the 23rd Jarl of Orkney. Um, I did also want to mention that Hakon Paulson had also two daughters, Ingeborg Hackenstalter and Margaret Hackenstalter. Now, the most important, Ingeborg Hackenstalter married Olaf the Red Godridsson, King of Man in the Isles, which led to the Croven Dynasty. And if you've seen my other video of Summerled, then you know that Olaf the Red Godridsson had a daughter, Ragnild Olafstalter. Who married Summerled, King of the Isles, which leads to Clan Sorley, to Clan MacDonald, MacDougall, um, McAllister, and so on and so forth. So many clans come from this union. And they can all be traced back to Ragnald, to Ingeborg, and to the uh, Jarls of Orkney, back to Norway. Um... Margaret Hackenstalter married Matad, the first Earl of Athol, another Gaelic native. I did also want to mention real quick 
Gunhild married Cole Callison, who, after Harold died and after Paul Hackonson died, the Jarldom went to St. Rognolf Kali Colson, 24th Yard of Orkney. He is also a saint because he also brought uh, Christendom to Orkney. Um, along with his ancestor, or I should say his uncle, St. Magnus. So, I'm going to stop here. Uh, I'm going to make this a two-part video. Uh, I will stop on the line of St. Rognov, Kali Colson, Olaf, and so on. And I will do the rest uh, in a second part. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like my videos, like and subscribe. Share with your friends. I will be making more videos. Uh, I will be making an uh, a Croven Dynasty line video. Uh, I will be making um, McDougal, uh, McAllister, uh, and other prominent families of Scotland, and I will be focusing on Scottish history, Irish history, and English history, with also the influences of the Normans the Norse, and um, the French. Uh, thank you, and goodbye.